Hello guys, welcome to my channel Python Educare. Today I have brought another session on desktop GUI automation using Pywin Auto. So today I'm going to show you how to connect to a window having long window title or uh, the title con consists of some integers or gaps or some uh, characters in it. I have got similar requests from many users on connecting uh, such kind of windows. So stay tuned guys, I will be showing you how to do this. First of all, uh, guys, you need to install auto eat uh, windows info tool. Just go to this link. Uh, just go to this link and paste it in the windows browser and get the tool downloaded and install it. One install, you will have two version that is 364 and 32 bit. If you see here, I have two version that is uh, 32 and 64 bit. So based on the application, you need to uh, open, uh, you need to execute this tool and you need to find the controls of that automation window. So now I will be showing you how to do that. So for doing this, uh, I will be importing a module that is pywinauto, then time for creating some delay, then as usual from pywinauto.application, we will be importing application, then from pywinauto.keyboard, import send keys. And then uh, this time, uh, we will not connect, since uh, the window title is big, so we will not connect the application using the window title, rather we will be connecting the windows application using the process ID and the process ID is dynamic. So if you see here, this is the code actually where I'm going to connect. Since the process ID is dynamic, because every time when you close the node, uh, close the application, open the application, the process ID will be dynamic. I'll be creating a script for collecting the dynamic process ID and to execute the program as such. So for this, what you need to do is like, you need to import a model called PSUtil and then I have written a function that is def running process by process name. Uh, this is used for finding that running process in the taskbar. So all the taskbar it will create the task, it will create the process. Then uh, for process in process it will the process the iteration all the process it will take it will try to uh, get the names. So I'm going to try accept statement so that it doesn't fail. And then next is like I need to get the process ID by name. So why because I will be searching that with name like what is the running process. So uh, based on the PID, so what PID I am looking for, I am looking for a PID say for example in this case notepad. So for the notepad I am asking, I am look, looking for PID. So I, what name I need to put is like I need to put notepad.exe, this will be static, this will never change. Every time if you restart the application also this name will never change, the change will happen only in PID. So I am searching so in short i'm searching the pid with reference of uh, the name this is what i'm doing here pid by name process name then list of the process objects then if you see here i need to fetch the process id and the name these are basic things and uh, then st try accept statements are there then here if i'm doing is like if running process that is what notepad then list of process ID is PID by name, not paid. And this for this alone I want. So there will be like multiple uh, process IDs, uh, process names, but I need for this only. Then it's zero. Then for I in last process ID, I need to get the PID alone from that list. Because this uh, notepad will give me various uh, uh, information, say PID, status, username, CPU, and many other informations. But I need only the PID. So this is nothing but to print it. After that, what I'm going to do is like app is equal to application dot connect. Application dot connect. Then process is a process PID. Then I will wait for two minutes. Then next is like what I'm going to do is like just this is my auto IT window, and this is my Notepad. So if I click to find the class name, so 
here I'm connecting the window to the process ID automation here I'm connecting to the window using the process ID after that uh, I need to uh, execute I need to I need to find a short form of that so that is a window is equal to app dot notepad this notepad is nothing but the class name so for every application the class name will different just find the tool click over here and drag to the window title if you see here automation one two three this enter title name and the class name is notepad so this notepad class name you need to put over here so that now you can short it otherwise you need to run every time you need to run the long form say like app dot uh, window title name dot something 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 and if you put uh, this automation i3 app dot then it will create a problem and this it will have a syntax error so for this it is a short form windows will app dot notepad that's a class name then window dot set focus because we need to always uh, bring that window where we are going to automate to bring into focus so if the window is hidden in the background so it will make it to foreground it will bring it to foreground and then window dot maximize so now for testing purpose this is i kept it on minimize no next will be like it will be maximized and then it will come for foreground then it will maximize then we'll be uh, writing something over here that's uh, hello then send case enter then again we will be writing uh, again we'll be typing some uh, welcome to python educare so let's see how it executes So process ID is 1460 and see so that means the window is connected this shows the window is connected and it got uh, maximized and then it written so this is how uh, we can do it now I will show one more for an Excel item I will close this now I will show a similar example for another uh, tool Excel item say So let it be also minimize and uh, now uh, I need to get the class name for this because process ID will be always dynamic so how to get the class name bring it to the window title and you will go the class name that is Excel main so this is your class name and don't confuse this is your control names so control class name is net UI H -U -W -N -D, but we do always go with the window title class name so there are many features over here you can always go to controls visible so but here we don't need all the information so we need only this class name so we'll just put this class name over here spaces class name uh, we will not type this because we cannot type these things in excel thing so i will take it out so this is just to show you that uh, this is one way to connect to an application and to do automation okay now if you say Excel would have come over here so Excel is there so it's one five five six so it's uh, the name is excel.exe so we'll keep only Excel exe -L. similarly here exe -L. let's run it So 1556 and it got connected and got maximized so this is how we can uh, connect to a uh, long uh, window title name so if you have any doubts regarding this uh, you can always reach out to me at my email id that is rafikjawed2 at gmail.com hope you have liked my video if so please press like button and for more videos please do subscribe my channel thank you for watching